hello there guys and welcome back to the channel so today's video is going to be all about human torch so i'm not going to go over all of his abilities you guys can read them up on kabam forums or if you have human torch just open him in game but uh in short his base idea is uh, all about incinerate he incinerates on his medium attacks heavy attacks and last line attack uh the higher the temperature the longer the incinerates last an opponent and the more smolder you have on yourself uh the more damage these incinerates deal Aside from that, he has a pre-fight ability that uh, basically gives him more damage output, more or less, making all of his flames no flame. I'm not even going to talk about no flame because it's practically impossible to enter that, and if you do, you can hardly make any use of it because it expires far, way too fast in regular fights. So, uh, I'm just going to kind of like go through part of this uncollected quest and then gonna draw some comparison about existing champions so far uh i have been playing around with human torch quite a bit and i have been trying to find a use for him one thing is for certain he really is not kind of like your best uh damage dealing character his damage is extremely average it's not the worst it's average uh the few things that he has going for him is that incinerates energizes well with despair so he can reverse heal and as well like his own incinerate has ability to reverse heal so if you're extremely aggressive you're able to do some heal reversal other than that he's incinerate and cold snap immune and if he's at 10 or higher temperature he cannot miss but that's not really all that relevant at least for now in game and that's not too easy to keep up uh, on the downside, he's fairly flimsy, his stats are average, his fighting style involves you having to rely on parries and charging heavy attacks, and he, yeah, he is not the easiest character to play either, and he offers very little for your efforts. So as we saw before, Agent Venom, for instance, was absolutely horrible matchup for him, just because he could shrug off all the incinerates, just because we couldn't reliably parry, and with that we couldn't keep our temperature up. So, yeah. Uh, King Root, on the other hand, is quite good matchup, just because we can quickly get uh, rid of uh, his Furies, and, and when he enters his heal phase, we can reverse that, and the damage over time adds up, and so that's quite helpful over there. But... Uh, other than that, it's still nothing great here, and there's nothing really to accent him. So, he has some other abilities though, thank god. And uh, the main one includes that uh, whenever he's taking energy damage, uh, he increases his temperature and adds another smolder, and that kind of like increases his damage output by a lot. And the second bit is that all attacks from Mystic Champions are treated as energy attacks. So, against Mystic Champions, theoretically, he should be an absolute killing machine, but we're gonna see how he compares against, let's say, other science champions, because that got me thinking, because he's a science champion, right? If he's good against mystic characters, then any other science champion has a class advantage, so naturally they're gonna crit harder. Most of them are designed to be pretty much like good counters uh, for these classes, because there's a reason why class relationships work in the certain way they do. And yeah, there's still that attack bonus on regular science characters <laughs> that might have like better damage output overall as well so we're gonna see how that's gonna work out and we're also gonna compare how much of his uh pre-fight ability make uh increase his damage output and so on so anyway so here again we're gonna be fighting loki and we're just gonna see how quickly we can add the smolders up and how how quickly we can, we can get this loki down so as we can see here, every single parry we do, every single blocked hit adds another smolder, which increases our incinerate damage by 12%. And it can increase also our temperature, that increases our incinerate length, and theoretically we're having like a good time all around, dealing loads of damage, and just absolutely rinsing this Loki. But the fight is still past 20 hits, right? So it's like 24 now, he's taking a tiny bit of damage, I'm doing a heavy attack which is gonna kill him at 26 hits. And keep in mind that is with us also using some heavy attacks in these fights. And now we're gonna have a fight against Dormammu, where I'm gonna activate the pre-fight ability to see like basically the ideal best case scenario for him. Because he's gonna have class advantage, uh, he's gonna be able to build all of these smolders, He's going to have his pre-fight mega damage ability unlocked, and we're going to see how well he performs then. 
and yeah so uh, as you can see also whenever he's in no flame he puts on like a power stinging opponent so that's gonna deal additional amount of damage here as you can see dealt quite a bit and so it's nearly down three combos and if we hadn't thrown that level one it would be in like 15 hits and probably like 17 to kill off this uh, Dormammu so uh, and that's it and then I decided to compare him against Red Hulk with an um, just because I kind of draw quite a bit of similarities in between the characters, they both both play around incinerate, they do incinerate damage, uh, they're both science, I have them both as undoped 6 dash rank 1, so it just seemed like a good champion to put the human torch up against. And yeah, I'm using pretty much exact same uh, synergy team, because uh, human torch had the thing that gave him two smolders at the beginning of each fight, so I'm using massacre that gives me to he charges at the beginning of every fight. So anyways, as we can see here, Ebony Maw went down in 17 hits. 17 hits? Uh, that was less than Human Torch did against him, even though we took a lot of hits on block on kind of purpose just to ramp his damage up. So next we're gonna go to Agent Venom, and this fight is gonna go, obviously, a lot better for Red Hulk as well, just because he doesn't rely on needing to land the parry attack, on needing to charge his heavy attacks, he does not need any debuffs to stick an opponent, or yeah, so Red Hulk is just gonna flat out add out damage the Human Torch over here uh, without much problem. I am gonna make a quick slip up in this fight though, just because I forgot about that unblockable finale node, but uh, that's not gonna cost us too much. But again, so as you can see, damage out with Red Hulk is not a bad damage character, right? He, he gets to his max damage output fairly quickly in the fight, and he <laughs> he just pretty much out damages him. Next fight is going to be against King Groot, where, fair enough, we're going to have to give it to Human Torch. Uh, just because of the way his debuffs can deal with the heal, and how quickly he can shrug off his furies and like make him enter the heal phase and stuff like that. So uh, I think that was like the one or two fights where Human Torch could actually do better than Red Hulk does. Uh, yeah, just because of his debuff mechanic, so there we go. Uh, Human Torch is better at killing King Groot than Red Hulk is. But overall, I just wanted to say that uh, if we put damage uh, aside, which is more or less the only thing that Human Torch is going for him, other champions that are considered to be decent or good in their classes has a lot more things going for them. Like in case of Red Hulk, he just uh, he doesn't only have incinerate immunity, he has a full-on poison immunity as well. Uh, He's extra large champion that has been helpful in latest variant. Uh, he doesn't rely on debuffs. He has like a very simple, flat out, uh, easy way of playing the character. Unlike Human Torch, who needs heavy attacks to keep his temperature up. And putting all that aside, Human Torch might, well, he is gonna get some more synergies with new Fantastic Four members coming out, but we have no idea what they are. And there better be bloody good ones to redeem this character because the uh, majority of the existing characters already do have these synergies that make them kind of like attractive to bring in your questing teams. Like Red Hulk synergizes extremely well with Domino, which is one of the best champions in game. And you already want him on the team, regardless of how good or bad he is. And just the fact that he performs so good is kind of like added bonus, if you know what I mean, guys. And yeah, he's like a good character by himself, so it's just adding two good characters together to make something even better. And in case of Human Torch, all of that is still kind of like unknown, because we don't know how well they're going to perform together, and he doesn't really have many good synergies going on for him right now yet, with like great champions. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so here's going to be a fight against Loki, which is a mystic character, so Red Hulk gets the class advantage. And we're 10 hits in, and Loki is already at 57% health. We're gonna shoot our level 1, so it's gonna be 17 hits, he's at 20% health, and we're gonna finish off with the next combo. So, I think that was actually faster than what Human Torch did, despite all of that smolder buildup. And then there's gonna be Dormammu fight, where I think we're gonna be slightly slower than we were with Human Torch, but only by like a 3 hits or a handful of hits. So Human Torch with his pre-fight ability active can slightly out damage Red Hulk. And it's just extremely disappointing as far as I'm concerned. 
Anyways, for the next part of the video, I actually did take Human Torch in Labyrinth of Legends. I did activate his pre-fight ability and had a fight against Starlord. And the idea there was because Human Torch can technically build up his damage indefinitely, uh, because with each smolder he has on him, he has increased damage output. So every time we activate level 3, we get two smolders. So theoretically, the longer the fight goes, the harder we should be hitting. But here we can observe the incinerate damage. And despite me throwing pretty much only level 3s in this fight, or trying to keep the temperature up as high as I can, that's how I got caught a couple of times. Uh, so <laughs> it wasn't an easy fight by any means. And we got to like a good build up with him and we are 24 smolders here and those numbers still aren't all that impressive like it's just disappointing and that is with his pre-fight ability active uh, if anybody is interested i can pause the full fight on it as well but uh yeah so i think it's gonna take us total of 607 hits in this fight because i did lose my combo a couple of times as i mentioned before because uh, i got caught either by charging heavy attack or something of the sort but yeah, so it's going to be like 607 hits to take down this uh, Starlord, which isn't awful. But let's keep in mind, it's like with Suicide, with his pre-fight ability active, an extremely long fight, just building up his smolders, right? 609. And now it's a Red Hulk's turn. So I also got caught with the Red Hulk, and I think he's going to actually finally get me when Starlord's going to be at 6%. But anyways, regardless... Red Hulk isn't a Labyrinth of Legends champion. He reaches his max damage output within first half a minute of the fight and he can't build it up anymore. And despite all that, and despite uh, the fact that previously Human Torch had his pre-fight ability active, uh, we still kind of like did good against this uh, Starlord. I think overall hits here before when he's gonna catch me at 6% is gonna be 810. So, yes, Human Torch did out-damage Red Hulk in the Labyrinth fight with his pre-fight ability active. Would he not have his pre-fight ability active? I'm 100% sure that Red Hulk would have beat him uh, down, like, in the terms of hits. Because even here in this fight, Red Hulk was dealing more damage from, let's say, when Starlord was on 90% to about 50%. And only then, kind of, Human Torch... Uh, caught up with him and overtook him but yeah anyways that's gonna be me done for this video i hope you guys did enjoy it um, and yeah if you did please do leave a like share subscribe and recommend a friend see you guys